Well, this sucks. Garnet sensed some corrupted gem activity in these woods. She sensed it? What? How the hell did she do that? Is she a Jedi? Can gems sense each other like Lapis did in Ocean Gem? And if so, then how come it's used so sparingly? Why does Steven never learn it? This just comes right out of nowhere. Also, in this shot, Steven doesn't have a phone in his hands. Then in the next shot, it just suddenly materializes into them. And no, he did not have enough time to reach into his pocket and grab it. What good is that tiny baby shield going to do against a giant corrupted gem? We've seen that Steven can make it any size imaginable, so why did he make it so small? Granted, making it bigger might cost him some stamina, but surely making it even the size of his arm would be better, right? What was the point of the corrupted gems even approaching the group if they were just gonna run off somewhere else anyway? There weren't supposed to be two. So wait, Garnet only sensed one? So are these sensing powers limited? Was Garnet just lazy? And if this were an instance of her using future vision, you'd think they would just say it outright. And honestly, it would make a lot more sense here than just she sensed it. Plus, it would let her see the possibility of there being two of them here and thus prep the group accordingly. This sensing shit only seems to be there to add artificial tension. I've read this book front to back at least 20 times. Yeah, because one book is gonna give you all the material you need to help survive in the cold, harsh wilderness. But as soon as you find the monster, contact me immediately. I don't want you fighting this thing alone. How the fuck is she even going to know where they are? What, can she sense Steven? Because A, that's dumb. And B, there's no guarantee she'll even make it there in time. And honestly, this whole split up and find it situation seems like a really stupid idea for Connie's first mission. She has the training, sure, but Pearl of all people should know that training has nothing on experience. And someone's first experience is going to be a shock to them. They need guidance. Pearl not not being there is just a disaster waiting to happen. Why don't they just focus on one at a time so they can all go together and have the best chance of success? What could be even a remotely good benefit of trying to get them both at once? I doubt they're gonna hurt anyone out here. I'm getting the impression that Pearl is being a bit too lax here, which I guess is what they were going for. But in the face of obvious danger, I'd think Pearl would reconsider. And who's your favorite gem? Pearl! Why, thank you. Yeah. These are fresh. Of course they're fresh. You literally just saw them run this way. You're a wilderness expert. No, she's not. That's common fucking sense. Look at how suddenly he stops. That's animated so weirdly. Also, in the next shot, Steven somehow ends up in the snow pile when he was just next to it in the previous shot. We can definitely take care of this ourselves. Oh, you sound very confident. Carry on, then. I get Pearl has had Connie under her tutelage for a while now. And I'm even gonna give her the benefit of the doubt here and say she's taught Steven some things about survival as well. But if Pearl, a gem very experienced in missions, is having trouble following a corrupted gem's tracks and finding it, why does she think that these two amateur children will do any better? And again, I know she's trying to trust the kids more, but I think she should be a bit more cautious than she is right now. I assume that this area is supposed to indicate some kind of struggle between Jasper and the Corrupted Gem, right? But this doesn't really look like a fight broke out here at all. If it had, there would probably be a few skid marks here and there, maybe some marks to indicate one of them falling over, and a bit more destruction than just one or two falling trees. Instead, this just looks like they met up and had a nice dance together. We should probably take shelter from this blizzard. This is a blizzard? If this is a blizzard, I'd hate to see what your reaction to a hurricane would be. Let's grab some of these pine needles. We can brew a vitamin C rich tea with them so we don't get scurvy. Are we not going to check and make sure this is the one pine tree out of the more than 120 different kinds there are that can make this tea? And that's not even taking into account that you need to pick these pine needles off of trees to make the tea, not off the ground. This is why you don't get your survival intel from a book. I think Connie would know this. This weather has really taken a turn for the worse. It is such a tiny amount of snow. Is it supposed to be a blizzard and they just didn't know how to animate it? I really doubt that. So what's the deal? Also, why aren't they just responding and saying they found the monster? Connie literally looks over and sees the gem noticing them. So why not just call for help at this point? Let me try talking to it. You can pull out your shield and talk to it at the same time. Those two things are not mutually exclusive. There's no guarantee talking to it will work, so don't take the risk. Is this because of the favorite gem thing? That was just a joke. Don't tell Garnet. Look what I got.
You were supposed to call me, and you did. This was a total success. That's major copium. How can you call failing to secure the two corrupted gems and having them both in the hands of your enemy a success? Steven took this picture from inside his bubble, but the picture is not tinted pink somehow. The tea is ready. Here, try it. Thanks. Yeah.